Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. You know, in order to celebrate the anniversary of the first walk in space, which is March 18th, I thought it'd be fun to show you three-dimensional rockets. If you look at the table, you can see that we actually have a couple of different rocket dies that are already situated in a way that they become dimensional by just interlocking the pieces. This one happens to be a sure cut die, and this one happens to be an all-star die. And it really, to have you see it, I thought, what better way than to cut one? So I'm going to take the all-star die, and because I'm using it in the Big Shot Pro, I'm going to use the adapter pad that comes with the machine, and I'm adding the crease pad. That gives the profile, the right profile, so that it will work in the machine. I'm going to place it so that the rubber side and the blade is up, and I've got the paper sitting on top then the cutting pad, and then the last thing I have to do is just go ahead and roll it through. And when I pull it out, you'll be able to see, I, I've just cut these out of construction paper, which is fine. Sometimes it's fun to do a little heavier poster board. But notice when you look at them closely, this one has a slit that's halfway down from the top. This one has a slit that's halfway up from the bottom. And I actually, since I folded the paper, I've got doubles of each. So let me separate those out. And I just want to take and interlock the two. So when I slide the two together, you can see how quickly and easily you can create a shape that then becomes dimensional. And of course, it's fun for the kids to go back and add all the decorations. If you wanted it to match one of the actual space shuttles, you could do that, have them download a, a print that would show what it looks like, all kinds of fun things. It led me to the thought, what about the other shapes that you might already have? Just adding slits seems like an easy thing to make them become dimensional. And for many shapes, it really does work. If you look at the table, you can see I've got the panda bear that has just been cut in the same way with a slit that goes halfway down from the top, a slit on the other panda shape that goes halfway up from the bottom. I did the same thing with the butterflies. And I thought I would actually take you through the steps. So if you look here at the cats, you can see that what I've got is the same cat, just cut twice, and I haven't even done any embellishing, but of course that's the fun part. Your students will love just going crazy with decorating. And then I've gone ahead and I've drawn with a ruler from between the two legs on the cat up through the middle of the nose and up through the top of the head. I did it in pencil and I erased the portion that's the top. I did the exact same thing on this same die shape, I drew the pencil line, and then on this one, I erased the bottom. So you end up having the same design with a line that's going to just be cut halfway down with just with your scissors. You're just going to cut along the pencil line halfway down to where it stops. You do the same thing, cut, cut halfway up from the bottom. Here's one that I put together. I found that it stood a little steadier if I also went back and trimmed a little bit off the, the rounded edges at the bottom of the feet. So here he is, two-dimensional, and just a little twist of the dimensionality. And look how cool you end up getting something that stands up. You know, after creating three-dimensional rockets, it's fun to show your students how easy it is to make many of your other die-cut shapes become three-dimensional as well.